Hey guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to do a quick little tour of what I call my nerd room or, you know, like a man's man cave, but for nerds. So we're going to start right here with this awesome Star Wars comic uh, plaque that my girlfriend got me last year for, I don't even think it was Christmas, it was before Christmas. Now this was hanging on the outside of the door, but uh, the tack that I had holding it on fell off, so... Uh, yeah, so that's not there. So we'll start here at the front of the room. This is the door. Excuse the tape there. That was where something else was trying to be put up there. I have here a nice little Ghostbusters door hanger. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And you turn it around. Are you the key master? So that's that. I'm going to walk around here. Earlier this year, I got to meet one of my YouTube uh favorites, I guess. <laughs> Jack Douglas and then Vincent Sear. They did the Great American Debate here in Houston. And uh, it was really, really fun. Of course, you got to get the poster signed and got it framed. So that's right there. Now that I'm actually doing YouTube things, it's even better, huh? This was a piece of artwork that I had uh, commissioned with a buddy of mine in our local Gundam group. And yeah, he got the image off the internet, but then he actually... Did it all by hand, inked it out, and then did the great watercolors there, because I love Unicorn. Then here, got a nice little Jurassic Galaxy cover there. Just a fun little spoof. That was either Nerd Block or um, Loot Crate. I don't remember which one it came in, but I went ahead and framed it. It's just a fun little thing on the wall. Now, mind you, this is what I call the room where my personality threw up, because it's kind of what it is. So up here, we got a piece of artwork that I picked up at a local comic convention last year. And it's actually Pokemon envisioned as Kaiju. And uh, the artist actually signed it as well. It's really neat. And then down here, you got some Tom Sansucci uh, artwork there. Because I do love me some cars and I love classic Corvettes as well. Come up here and you got a few other smaller prints from there. I got that many, many years ago when I got my first place. And uh, they've followed me ever since. Have you seen my Shoki Quickies? There's my 8-bit uh, Mario and Link collections up there, including the Ultra Rare that hasn't quite been posted just yet, but will be. Come over here and... Yep, that's my Blackberry hanging on the wall of Shadow Box. I had this guy or some version of it for like six or seven years until I finally had to give up and get a real smartphone. I loved it so much I had to really retire it in some kind of good fashion. And I can't, it could technically still function if it would actually hold the battery. Because <laughs> all I did was put a screw through the back of the plate and into the uh, back of the poster there. Up there, some Pokemon love. That's the, uh, uh, when did that, that came out for X and Y. If you ordered both versions of X and Y, you actually got that wall scroll, and then of course I had that. That's been hanging up for, since at least my last place. Um, and then to the closet here, some of my other nerdery. Got me some craft beer there, and then of course my tools and various other objects. My stack of Power Rangers Megazords there, and some frames that haven't been put up just yet. Some uh, Halo the Halo Reach Legendary Edition and then the Halo 3 Legendary Edition back there. Uh, I need to actually get those put up, but I need another display case first. And then a few other things. My comic book collection is right up in there. Uh, pile of stuff. So this, this, um, this is actually a bunch of my artwork from junior high, high school, maybe even some college years. And uh, some of the better pieces I'll probably frame and hang up. This is boxes of just... Like, these are the last couple boxes I got of Gundam stuff, hence all the bubble wrap. Nice little Mopar 75th anniversary thing there. That's actually a box of comic books I got from my mother-in-law. Well, my girlfriend's mom. Uh, so it's a bunch of old, cool comic books I need to get appraised. That's something I will review later. It is a lovely, lovely blade. I'll review that later in some of my quickie reviews. Come over here. It's actually my review desk. As you can tell if you've seen it up close so many times. And a uh, little teaser there for an upcoming review that I'm actually going to be filming after this. And then, of course, some of my building stuff. You see my hair dryer there for whenever I need to paint and need to dry it quickly. That over there is a just an empty stack of uh, 
Gundam boxes. There's probably a couple in there that are still in the box that I haven't uh, got room for just yet. So it's not a backlog or anything. That is just my empties over there. Now over here, I do have some more goodies that are either actual backlog or things I'm about to review. And then same thing right there in my little bitty review chair. So if you ever hear squeaking when I'm doing a review, it's from that chair right there. <laughs> and then of course you get some more stuff that's either just been reviewed or is about to be reviewed. Box of trash. Sorry, I you know, need to clean up. Over here we go into a little bit more of my uh, other hobbies there. So a ton of different beer glasses from around uh, different breweries and the flying saucer. Here we got some Halo 5 uh, controllers. Um, just a bunch of cool stuff there. Then actually my collector edition Halo uh is it reach yes halo reach xbox 360 well that's the halo 4 xbox 360 down there's a halo 3 xbox 360 you can tell i like halo because there you even see the games you see my pokemon games my 3ds's my chinese uh balls <laughs> uh this is where my tv will be in here when i start doing gaming and stuff like that i have to get a new tv just for in the living room then that tv will end up in here so that's got just a bunch of random crap on it, including... Hey, what are, what are these for? There's Mario's over there. What are those? You'll find out shortly. Come down here, and then you got the boxes for the Xboxes. And that is my ancient computer that still has a lot of stuff on the hard drive I need to actually extract and put on my new computer. Uh, that is actually a stack of... Well, it looks like magazines. It's not, I'm pretty sure. Well, some of that is Hot Rod magazines. But right here, these are all Gunpla manuals. Like the first few, like I, I took them out of the box and actually uh, was going to hang them up and I just never did. Here's some more glassware, because awesome. Dolly from when we moved in and a lot of this stuff is heavy. <laughs> and then you've got the, uh, the TARDIS lunchbox there. Nobody watched that review, so, you know, <laughs> go watch it now, guys. And then we'll come to what most people are probably here to see. My Gunpla collection as it stands. So it's going to be hard to get everything in frame because it's a smallish room. So if you look over here, this is mostly uh, backlog. So things I need to build are over here with a few empty boxes on top. Um, but you've seen a lot of these reviews. Like here's the whole IBO stack. You know, I just reviewed all that. <laughs> Coming along here. So these are all my empties. I saved the boxes because just like when we had to move a few months ago, I would have had nowhere to put all my Gunpla. Like I was considering abandoning the boxes and throwing them all in storage tubs, but good God, I probably would have broken a lot of things. Now I'll try to back up as much as I can. That is my current Gunpla collection. So I'm already up to six IKEA Detolfs. <laughs> And I currently need at least one more for all the uh, builds and stuff that I've got already in the backlog. And now I need some things for where my little nerdy stuff, like from the Shoki Quickies, goes. So we'll do a quick little pan here. So my unicorn collection right there. Coming down to the recent build. You all should recognize those. And then those are my girlfriend's kits. I will actually be reviewing those eventually. Come over here. You get some seed. Get my little, uh, what, I, what I did call my red shelf until I put the uh, Goof Custom in there. Come up here and you get the Grandpa and the new Gundam. And a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you have the Hainu? And be like, I'm not a big fan of Hainu. That's why. <laughs> Come over here and this is my custom shelf. We will go into depth on those guys. And you come down here, same deal. Down here, you got some more seed kits. You get the Impulse and the Destiny MGs. So for anybody who thought all I ever do is HGs, you're wrong. I've got plenty of MGs. I just haven't gotten to them yet. And here's some more of them. So my double O shelves. So those will be reviewed shortly. And then that's my double O display, very similar to my IBO display. So that's all of the Gundams in HG all stuck in there. We will be going over that very similarly to the way I did the IBO shelf, but we'll figure something else out. And this one is, this whole selection of course is Graham Acre Suits. This was technically my first review I ever did, 
but nobody really ever saw it because it was choppy and I had a bad recording. And so I will be redoing that and showing these suits. Sorry for the shaky cam, guys. Come down here and you got my SD collection. I'm excited to go over these one day because they're a lot of fun. And everybody should recognize this by now. And then we come up to my wing set. So, yep, love that. And then over to the build fighter shelves. This will be the MG shelf. That's why there's only those two there. Come down here and you get some more build fighters. And then you get the bear guy shelf. The bear guys had to have their own damn shelf, guys. And then down here to the age shelf, which has at least one more going in it for the time being. So that's it for the uh, Shoki's Nerd Room Tour. I mean, it's not crazy. I mean, I would show you where I build out in the living room, but that's not that important. And for the keen-eyed viewers, yes, you look around and you see things. Is he going to review those? Yes, I will. <laughs> I've got lots of things I can review and compare, and I will be doing that eventually. Oh, I guess I can show this off real quick. It's something. It's not my hobby, but it's my girlfriend's. So here we have a nice, what looks like a poster, but it is, in fact, a uh, puzzle of the newspaper of the day that John F. Kennedy was shot. My girlfriend loves doing puzzles, and um, we have many of them hanging up about the house, all framed and everything like that. So, But that's going to be it for my walkthrough of my nerd cave, guys. Now, what I'm going to do with all the empties, have not done it yet, they're all going to be hanging on the wall, bordering all of the walls for the most part. Um, I had it up that way in my old nerd room, but literally the day after I did it, it flooded. <laughs> so I have not gotten back around to doing it in the new place. So you guys have a good day. Make sure you like, subscribe, stick around because now you've seen, for the most part, what, I'm ha what I've got coming up. Not everything, but a good bit, and that's why I was going a little quick. So you didn't necessarily see everything that's next in the reviews. And you saw the unboxing of this girl. She will be built very, very shortly. So, all right, guys. I will catch you later. Remember to keep on building, keep on nerding, and anything else. So, bye.